Looks like we've got a call coming in, Captain. Let me put it through. Captain! Such a pleasure to see your lovely face again. I aim to be unforgettable. What's up, Darmus? Better talk fast in case, you know, you get accidentally disconnected. Gracious. Corso Riggs defending your virtue. It's cute, isn't it? I have a business proposition for you, but I'd rather discuss it face to face. Come to Port Nowhere, Captain. Floating Cantina, not far from you. I'll send the specs. Seems like a safe location, Captain. But we need to be careful. The Imperials are getting more gutsy. There's nowhere in Republic space that's safe anymore. Thanks for the heads up. I'm serious. I caught a signature when we were on Nar Shaddaa that looked like the Void Wolf. Someone I should know about? The man's a monster. Grand Admiral Haradax Kirill. Former slaver, scourge of the Outer Rim and all-round charmer. My father always kept a close eye on him. The Void Wolf's got delusions of taking over the Underworld, handing it to the Empire wrapped in ribbon. Then let's hit Port Nowhere fast and see if we can get out of his way. Captain, I never thought I'd see you here. Thought you were too good for a small time crooks in Port Nowhere. Once you got your hands on Noctrayan's ship, woohoo! Can I buy you a drink? Get some pointers? I've been waiting for this for a long time. Careful, you're drooling on the rug there, buddy. Actually, I am not the only one who's been waiting. So. I've been hearing your name for a while now. Almost as long as you've been hearing mine. Logan. They call me the Butcher. You lost a blaster shipment of mine some time back. And I don't remember ever getting an apology. How about it, Captain? You know how to say I'm sorry. I'm s I'm sorry. I am... Incredibly good-looking. Nope. Can't. No one steals from me and lives, girl. And don't try to change my mind. You're not my type. And you're not running away this time. My men have your hangar locked down tight. Sounds like a fun fight. All right. Open season. A hundred thousand credits to the man who brings me that pretty head. Done deal, boss. Start moving the funds. Captain, 
Good thing you're prompt, or I'd be a dead man. The second we got off the link, Rogan's men turned up. I hear you stopped them single-handedly. I wouldn't want your life, Captain, but it's rather a thrill to watch. This is Senator Bevera Dodana. I work with her now. Ra ra! Hail the Republic! Etc. Etc. What's a senator want with someone like you? I've been investigating how the Republic can make better use of independent minded soldiers of freedom. Which is why Rogan tried to shut us down. He's an Imperial lackey. His whole criminal empire answers directly to Imperial command. There's an Imperial fleet waiting out there. Rogan's men were going to deliver us to the Imperials. This isn't that guy, is it? The slaver with the stupid name? He's got contacts in every major gang. Rogan's one of his biggest assets. Once they're both dead, we won't have to keep track. And if you accept my offer, you won't have to take him on alone. The Republic is looking for men and women of action. Patriots without the restriction of a trooper's uniform. How would you like a commission from the Galactic Senate? Authorizing you as a privateer naval captain. Tasked to target Imperial forces at will. What's the catch? We can't support you openly. But I think those are the kinds of missions you prefer. It's a straightforward deal. We give you targets, cargo, the job we need done, and all the support we can covertly provide. In return, we look the other way about any laws you break, or private gains you make along the way. A fancy badge won't get you out of paying for my services. Don't worry, the Republic will see you well compensated. Our top target right now is Balmora, one of the most likely hotspots for open war to be declared. Is there anyone in the galaxy who still thinks we aren't at war? The longer we lie, the more people live. I know we're waiting until they're on planet for the full briefing. But maybe in a word? Balmora used to supply half the Republic's military resources. Now it's occupied by the Imperials, and all that technology is going to the... Empire! Empire! Imperial fleet to cloaked! Port side! No! Ah! Starboard side! They're all around us! It's the Void Wolf! Ah! Get your ship. Get back to Crusoe. You two, get out of here! I'll try to jump this whole tub before they board us. Go! Every time I see you return from a mission, I thank the Maker I wasn't designed for combat. I think we made it through before the noose tightened. I'm glad you did the same. Of all my fantasies of you, shackled as an Imperial captive was never my favorite. I'll stay and make sure Port Nowhere doesn't land in any more of Rogan's or the Void Wolf's little parties. You can think of her as a safe harbor. Thanks for letting me in on this. I couldn't think of anyone better to suggest to the Senator. And don't think this is all about serving the Republic, either. There's a fortune to be made in this war. An enterprising individual could end up with a criminal empire to rival Rogan. Criminal Empire? You make it sound so sexy. Did I say we could trust Dermis? I meant not trust him. Ever. I can't think of anything sexier than a woman with a pile of credits and her own private army. Ew. There's a power vacuum in the underworld where the big name's gone. Not Dre and the Hatchet Ivory. But I have a feeling you'll be up there one day. Just keep in mind, when you're on Balmora, the opportunities are there. You just have to take them.